Hi everyone, this is Tech Support by RD, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the hidden Wi Fi network created by your TP Link router. Um, if your TP Link router has a feature called One Mesh, um, your router will create a hidden wireless network um, in order for that One Mesh feature to work properly. Um, this is similar to um, what's used in Deco routers, um, also made by TP-Link, um, they're mesh routers. They work in the sim similar principle. Um, they create a separate hidden wireless network um, for their mesh networking for those kinds of routers. Um, you might not be able to see them on most um, Wi-Fi search screens because um, they're hidden networks, but if you are on Windows or if you use a Wi-Fi scanner utility on your Android phone or if you use airport utility on iOS or Mac, you might be able to find that your router is broadcasting a hidden wireless network. And while this is um, not nothing to worry about, um, about, for some people, it's a concern because the router is giving an extra wireless network that they don't need, and it's using up some of the resources or the bandwidth for the router. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to disable one mesh. Now, this video um, assumes that your router uses this um, user interface that I have here. And by the way, I'm not using this um, on a real device. I'm just using an emulator on TP-Link's website just to illustrate the process. However, the steps should be similar for those of you who are on a real device. So first things first is enter your password and click login or enter and you will be brought to the sign-in page for your router. Now, um, it may take a while to load, but in, re in reality it should be instant. Um, the, now, by the way, the reason why I'm using an emulator instead of a real device in this video is because... Um, um, I had to hide a lot of information in my last video um, for privacy purposes. But with an emulator, um, this is public uh, a public website that pretends to be the router UI, a nifty tool from TP-Link. So um, the setting that you're looking for should be in the advanced tab. It's the fifth tab in the case of this particular model that we're using, but um, it could be the last tab if you don't have Home Shield. The home shield feature on your router, if you don't have this feature, it will be four tabs and you'll have advanced. Um, by the way, guys, if you are using One Mesh, um, or if your router supports One Mesh router, you will find that your router page has a third entry for mesh devices. And you can see which mesh devices are connected or not, presumably, to your um, to your particular router. Because One Mesh only works with extenders, it doesn't work with other routers, unlike other brands or unlike TP Link's Deco routers. So, yeah, if your router has One Mesh, you should see something like this. However, if you have no mesh devices, this, should, this section should say no something. This should let you know that you have no devices connected that are mesh devices. So, Advanced tab, and you will find One Mesh as an option on the side. So, this one right here. And you can see in this sample um, sample interface that there are nine one mesh devices um, that are available to be used. So you just you can pair them here. However, um, if you do not want to use one mesh, all you have to do is turn that switch off. Now, keep in mind that turning one mesh on or off will restart your wireless network and will cause a temporary and a temporary interruption to Wi-Fi access. So. Try to, don't change the setting as while someone is using the internet because they'll temporarily lose their connection. So be so make sure that everyone is not using the internet before you change the setting. So click yes, and the wireless network will restart. And once it's restarted, one mesh should be off. Now because this is a emulator web page, um, it doesn't really mirror exactly the UI. However, this switch should say off instead of on. Um, if we were on real hardware instead of an emulator. Now, um, um, I think that's it. So if you have a hidden wireless network and you do not use any one mesh extenders or if you don't use this feature at all, you don't know what this is, that's how to turn one mesh off and free up some of the bandwidth of your router um, for use 
by other devices that are actually connected to your um, router. I hope you'll find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.